Anyways, Ayazji, thank you so much for covering everything I wanted to say. Thank you. <laughs> and all those career list, take by few slide chala dena. Mujhe kya zarurat hogi uski. Anyway, so everybody, I want to start with knowing how many of you are Shah Rukh Khan fans. <laughs> Lovely. Deepika Padukone. How many? Oh! <laughs> How many of you are Milka Singh fans? Yeah, thodi hooting karo. Good. <laughs> Great. Okay. So, statutory warning. Um, I'm a sportscaster, and talking about sports is uh, something I get paid for. So, good news is that today I have bullet points. And all thank yous are to my sister, who's the dialogue writer of my life. Because in public, if I start talking about sports, you will think about sports. So thank your stars. I'm going to try and stick to this, OK? And uh, when it comes to sports in India as a career, I need pani because I can cry. It's really bad. Sorry. All right, let's start. I play sports. I was representing the country in tennis in the juniors. I MC sporting events. The Davis Cup was my favorite. And I've worked with uh, sports broadcasting, like um, RTG mentioned. Um, and today I run a digital media studio uh, called Little Yellow Beetle. And some of the sporting event organizers employ my marketing skills to promote their events to reach out to a wider audience. Obviously, that's, good. that's what I get paid for now. Every Sunday, happily, at 6 a.m., I'm at the Ragiri, which is where my city, Delhi, um, takes to sporting activities, cleaning the streets, and obviously road safety. So excuse my enthusiasm for sports and the little bit of nudge that I'm going to give all of you uh, so that whichever way possible you embrace sports, either as a lifestyle or a career option, but do it. Stop talking about it. Start playing. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. The warning is over. Hi. <laughs> all right. In a room full of all you very smart, academically inclined, I'm the little crazy sport enthusiast. And I would like you to take through a story that is my favorite story to tell. It's about Indian sports. Okay. 1996 film, Jerry Maguire star, uh, uh, no, sorry, Jerry Maguire starring Tom Cruise and Dennis Elvega. Kitno ne dekhiya? That's it. Wow, sports, India me kuch nahi hone wala hai. Anyway. Okay, but Tom Cruise tha and he's good looking and Rene was pretty hot as well. Okay. You had me at hello. <laughs> uh, Bhoat famous dialogue tha, you had me at hello. Shah Rukh Ji ne try kiya hai, sab ne try kiya, but it's okay. Our favorite thing to do in this country is to watch Kyuki Saas bhi kabhi bauti. TRPs are soaring and roaring and uh, Balika Vadu. Entertainment Zindagi TV. It takes a Deepika Padukone to play with Roger Federer to get the IPTL noticed. And of course, Shah Rukh Khan to go out, dance, and you know, have like his cheerleaders to tell everybody that the IPL has started. Epic. How do we watch sports in this country? Sachin Tendulkar makes a hundred. India wins a series. Our players are gods. Our media people love them. We all want to be like them. We go in and roll our children into academies. And oh God, half yearly exams are hain, yaar. How can they play? They should be studying, huh? <laughs> and then comes the good news for all the parents. Dhoni's out on duck. So then we have all these duck-shaped WhatsApps going out. And then, obviously, uh, all us in-house media experts are questioning all their moves. We're burning their effigies down before they even come home. Their families are threatened. They say, kaise khel sakte ho tum log? Khelna nahi aata hai. Great. So those gods are not gods anymore. So we go back to being uh, efficient students of engineering, doctors, IAS exams. Uh, we're doing all that, and suddenly Sanya Mirza comes with a doubles trophy in a grand slam, and oh my god, women empowerment. Are look, sports has come a full circle. We're winning. Wow, and a woman is winning. Uski skirt ki length dekhi thi kisi ne. I have even a better one. Wo Pakistani hai? Huh? Why is she? What is she doing with an Indian flag? Strange. But then again, we 
go back to padhai and we study and we're giving our exams and suddenly mary com wins a a medal and alia bhat says it was her best role priyanka chopra's i think <laughs> right how quickly we idolize and how quickly we forget and sadly with sports that's all we really care to do in this country 1 billion people and a handful of sports people who have earned anything at all in their fields i'm sure we've all been confused about the numbers of medals and the number of people we have who represent our country in sports and yet the reasons stare us in our face every time we're even googling india's best sports people sports for us in india is like the vidya balan from dirty picture it's entertainment entertainment and only entertainment we spend our entire student life wanting to get into the iits and the aims and nlsius and all the big academically high paying jobs our parents tell us you have to get a 99.999% varna to meri beti nahi chalo jao beta bhi nahi i got the beti version um if we say we want to play sports we're told that you know we are not that connected paise nahi hai tumhe kya lagta hai tum sachin tendulkar ban jaoge but i here today ask why not why become sachin tendulkar why not become better we'll come to that dream that is i think a dream uh, but the fact is that when i started playing questions that my friends asked their parents on why can't we go play like malika she has so many friends she's traveling all the time never attending class i think that was their main reason but uh making the news winning for the country why can't we play mama and mama said beta ho sakta hai uske parents ke paas paise ho ho sakta hai connections ho aap padhai karo aapko 99.9 lane hai but i don't know about the money i don't know about why i was put into sport i was put in there because my sister told me at a very young age that there is a champion in each one of us if only we allow this champion the luxury of a dream i was taken to the courts by my parents who were avid sport lovers my mom and my dad used to play tennis they took me at the age of 3 my mom said jao beta balls collect karo at the end of the court and at that age even at that age i thought the grass was greener on the other side yeah good thing my parents put something like me on to actually using the energy otherwise i would make their lives hell i mean if that's the kind of questions i was asking at 3 so i started playing i was doing okay and before i even realized it um i got injured i was actually in the process of getting selected for the seniors um the senior leagues for representing the country and one week later mere board exams the and i remember my dad and my mom joking outside the doctors saying listen you either stop you know fix up otherwise board exams dene padenge but on a more serious note my sister actually came and said you know if you can actually hit um hit and win such amazing games at 44 degrees ye to sirf board exams as scribble karna in the ac room i'm not saying the boards were easy i'm not saying i'm not saying playing sports professionally is easy i'm just saying that it is sports is a lifestyle that allows a family like that to even think in that positive attitude it just i know that a lot of people in india say that a family that eats together stays together i genuinely think and believe a family that plays together lives together happily and goes through every thick and thin together so as a family take up sports is very important and i'm really grateful that i have parents who let me play uh even though when i started off i was shitty all right and of course althea gibson once said no matter what accomplishments we make someone has helped us trainers nutritionists sport lawyers managers coaches there was a whole list that i asked you just mentioned um sports has a very very large world of uh, possibilities and opportunities to provide you it's i know that a lot of people who are sitting down right now in your engineering um seats uh, are probably thinking ab kahan banenge sachin ab kaise ban sakte hain hum next leander pace we didn't even start at the right age we weren't even allowed to play kale ho jaoge 
fail ho jaoge all those vain excuses but really how many of you even thought of these career options that we just sort of pointed out by rg and these ones we always look at people who are coming from outside from australia or new zealand or uk hamare sare coaches bhi wahan se aate hain but being a professional sports person i know that when we were playing outside the country and we won a tournament i didn't want mac and cheese i didn't want a burger i wanted maggi no nutritionist who has never been brought up in india will will know what it feels like to celebrate with maggi uh when you're sitting down in the chair thinking we need energy uh british coaches give you bananas i need parle ji <laughs> and most importantly at the match point when i think i'm going to go nail this person i need gatorade no i need mamma ka nimbu pani how will a british coach even feel what i feel we need indian nutritionists we need indian people to support us when we're playing really we make amazing managers we do right good so why not manage sport we make amazing lawyers why not represent a sport person we india makes the largest number of doctors and engineers why not specialize in sport medicine and sport engineering and help us sport people with things we need which we are used to when we're obviously born and brought up and so that we can continue playing with those um indian things and take us ahead really and it is possible the good thing is that it is happening uh we see a lot of public private partnership models coming together where it grassroots awareness programs led by finally the prime minister narendra modi who has waken up and of course debates like this led by rai soni group uh where at least we're talking about it we're discussing it and the point is that no matter what you're doing in your life sport has so much to offer it has so much to teach us sportsman spirit dedication discipline you've heard all of this so i'm not going to repeat it but more than anything else it builds character You know it would be very exciting if us if our newspapers had more sport news instead of having oh, women being raped hamare minister sare corrupt hain bankruptcy chori every day we need to build character from day one be it a boy or a girl you need your kid to play sport each one of you need to pick up a sport something that enthuses you and inspires you so that you can go out there be a good boy and a girl respect each other's territory i mean in every way and of course um enjoy it it's a healthier option and it's a great lifestyle so having said all that i think i'm going to sort of end it at the fact that i've done it i've been a player i've been a sportscaster i'm gone into advertising i now make money out of selling sport media but i really hope that it becomes an ecosystem where we don't just use big words but just get up go play ditch your kyuki saas bhi kabhi bahut hi wo repeat pe bhi aata hai you can seriously come back and watch it but get up go out there pick up a sport that inspires you play it paradigm shift can only happen if you start putting little steps together and that little step is going to be at least pick up a sport before talking about when are we going to win a medal thank you very much and i wish you all a happy sport hunting <laughs>